Slint is a cross-platform toolkit to develop graphical user interfaces for embedded devices and desktops. With our live preview, you can iteratively design your interface and preview it live on the device itself. When your design is ready, we can compile it to native code. You can use Slint for multiple programming languages, such as C++, Rust, or even JavaScript. I'd like to demonstrate one of our coolest features, our ID integration and live preview. What we have here is our design file loaded in Visual Studio Code. We also provide integrations for other IDEs of your choice. The design is loaded in Visual Studio Code, and it is also previewed and rendered to the right of it here. The cool thing is now I can do changes in the design. They'll be instantly visible in the preview. For example, I can change the copy button here to be a fax button. I'll do this, and it's instantly visible. But I can do a lot more. Let's change the colors of the action buttons. I have a color picker now, and I can change the color. And now the green is instantly visible. I don't like the green too much. I want to go for a purple. Oh, yes, that looks much better. Let's make them also a little bigger. This is a bit of an extreme design, but this is how I, how I can quickly change it and adapt it to the way I just like it. Yes, now it looks good. Our live preview not only works on the laptop, it even works on the embedded devices directly. Let me show you. This is our printer demo running on a Raspberry Pi, and it's connected to Visual Studio Code running on my laptop. I'd like to make some changes now to the printing queue design. The text is very small, so I'd like to increase the size and see if I can get it just right. Ah, this is much better. It's bigger, and I could do it instantly. I didn't have to compile it and flash it. I can make the change. Let's also change the color. Ah, I like green. Our designer might not exactly agree with that, but I like it, and I can see it right away. Slint also runs on microcontrollers. Let me show you Slint running on an STM32H7. I'll activate our night mode so you can see it better on the camera. And we can go all the way down to really, really low-end computers. For example, we have Resint also running on a Raspberry Pi Pico with only 260 kilobytes of RAM. It's that little computer. This is a screen for it. Let's show it up. Why don't you try out Slint yourself? Go to our website, download it, and have fun.